Okay, this video is gonna show me calibrating my whip motion sensor. First thing I've done is set up a analog compass here, showing it kind of a compass rose for calibrating. As you can see, compass is perfectly pointing magnetic north. And all of the lines here line up. I'm gonna use this for calibration. So, um, what I'm going to do is follow the instructions here for calibrating the sensor. So, over here at the computer, I'm going to just hold the sensor flat while I do this. Now I just have a little plastic uh, strap on the end here. There's nothing magnetic anywhere around. When I do this, it's a wood table, cork board, bottom, uh, don't have a smart watch or anything on. Okay, holding that on, I'm gonna go into the calibration settings here. Config. Okay. And I'm gonna click reset. Okay, I'm also just gonna go ahead and click reset Z axis angle. And I don't know if it matters, but I have a sensor pointing due north. I'm gonna click angle reference to reset that. Okay, I do see the compass rose now pointing due north. And now I'm going to calibrate the compass, or the sensor, I should say. Um, okay, I'm going to click the Start Calibrate. In the meantime, I'll try to film this and use two hands at the same time. So I'll wait for it to come up. Okay, so I'm going to set up the camera here. First thing I will do is rotate the compass or the sensor three times around very slowly, keeping it totally flat. Once. Twice. Three times around its axis. Okay. Now I will spin it this way once. Twice. Three times. Now I've tested this by doing this a whole bunch of times and um, didn't seem to matter. I was advised only three times per each axis. So that's what I'm doing. That's once. Twice. times around. Okay, so um, that's uh, there. Now we'll go back to the computer, see what that looked like. Pretty good, I guess. I don't know. Um, click end calibration. Okay, I will note that even though the compass is still continuing to point due north, magnetic north rather. The compass rose here is already showing it not. Um, I don't know if that matters. I have a better way of testing it. But anyway, uh, I followed the calibration um, steps here. Now I'm gonna plug it into a mini computer to output the actual compass directions. 
Okay, I've plugged the sensor now into this Raspberry Pi, which is running a Python program to display the real-time bearing, incline, and roll. As you can see, the incline and roll are zeroed out, which is good. Uh, we'll now align the compass or the sensor here. Should be magnetic north, exactly. Look here, showing 356. So it's under by four degrees. As we rotate it around, here you can see it should be 45. Showing 46, so it's now one over. Here we have it lined up exactly on the 90. 94, so it's now four degrees over. Here we have it lined up exactly on the 135, showing 141, so six degrees over. Here we have it lined up, pointing magnetic south, so it should be 180 degrees. As you can see it's showing 189, so nine degrees over. You can see it's slowly going over as we go south. It'll eventually come back the other way because it always does. I've attempted this at least 50 times and it constantly has this issue. Here we go, exactly on the 225 line and it's 232. So uh, let's see. So that was seven degrees over last time. Here we are on the 270. And it's right on the money at 270. So that's the first one that has actually been perfect. But as we go around some more, we'll see it shifts off again. So here we have it lined up on the 315, and it's uh, six degrees already, five degrees. And to bring it all the way back to north, there you have it, back to 355, so 356, there you go. So, four or five degrees under. And it's that lopsided calibration I see every time. Doesn't matter how many times I run this. Doesn't matter what calibration mode I use. Doesn't matter how careful I am. It's always off. I've never had a good calibration here. It's always off, give or take, you know, around 10 degrees, uh, at most 10 degrees. and. Sometimes over, sometimes under, depending on the arc that we do. So, as far as I'm concerned, the sensor is defective. Certainly, it's not within the tolerance that's advertised. So, either I'm hoping for somebody to point out what I'm doing wrong here or to get a replacement, because for my purposes, it's just way too inaccurate, unfortunately. Thanks.